Good morning and welcome to a home, um, well, sort of, oh. sort of, sort of. <laughs> We're probably going to go out to the outlet today. Yes, we are. Which we haven't been to in a while. Well, you especially haven't been to in a while. It's, yeah, I think it was back when we bought our cold weather clothes. Oh, yeah. I'll link that video down below. It was when we had a few cold days and we were like, we're not ready. I can't wait to see what's at the Disney outlet. I, I, I really want to see if they have those Christmas tree. Oh yeah, the popcorn buckets. The buckets, yeah. What was the other one? Wasn't there another one that I was like, oh, this one. Oh, I can't was, remember. Was it the Halloween one? The the mummy one? The mummy one, yeah. Okay, we'll check uh, yeah. and see what popcorn buckets they have. Yeah, I want to see what's going on and what ears they have. They've been coming out with so many ears in the park and I want to see if any of the ears are at the outlet now. There were also ears that didn't get sold in the parks because they didn't make it here in time. Yeah, the Christmas like ones. Like Christmas ears and which that they I, were selling at the outlets that you could buy and wear them this year that nobody would ever see. But I also feel like why wouldn't they because it's Christmas in July, right? Like every, they're celebrating halfway to Christmas. Right, halfway to the holidays. Why wouldn't you, that's right, yeah. Why wouldn't you put them in the parks for that? I would at least sell them in Disney Springs. Yeah, right? Yeah. Well, let's go see what they've got at the outlet. All right, we are turning on to Vineland. And this is where our favorite outlet is, is the Vineland outlets. These are the Orlando Premium Outlets on Vineland. But now we're here. We're at the Vineland outlets. I like that they have this little like photo op here too. I think that's really fun. I think it's just a sign. Is it a photo op? I mean, we took a picture in front of it. Yeah. Yeah, so I call it a photo op. Okay. It's an Instagram wall. Oh, an yeah. Instagram sign. <laughs> I also wanted to mention that they do have electric vehicle charging spots. However, let's there see. There is a large Walmart <laughs> electric van in it. Let's see if there's one oh, on the, no. there's one on the other side. Let's see if it's open. There's a bunch that are open over. I'm gonna park on the other side though, next to that leaf. I always like it here. And it also seems like it's not busy today, which is nice. I feel like they just opened. Didn't they just open? Yeah, so it's 1130. I think they open at 10. Should we go to Gucci? Are these? Yeah, they look new. Oh, this has been your, your outlets update. Oh yeah, outlets update. Are we? Got new benches. Because there's a line at Gucci. There's always a line at Gucci. There are like four people in at a time. Yeah, I want to go in there. Hey, Jen. <laughs> Guess. Yeah? Um, yeah, uh, I think it was Dr. Pepper in the in the office with the wrench. Okay. Is that are those any of those are any of those things from that game? The wrench. Okay. <laughs> There's no Dr. Pepper. Oh no, that's Dr. Pepper. Yeah. The drink. That's the drink. That's why it sounded so familiar. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I was just talking about this store. Oh no. <laughs> just as an FYI, there's these stores here, these little kiosks that sell these super cheap suitcases. We saw somebody buy one roll it 50 feet away and then the wheel fell off of it. Yeah, because it like, popped right off. Immediately. Yeah. And he looked back at the guy and goes, what, uh, what? And the guy just comes over laughing. And I'm like, well, maybe that's probably not the best. <laughs> All right, here we are next to the food court. Going into Disney's character warehouse. I guess they probably get deliveries on Wednesday because there's like a stanchions here to, for a line to be formed, but there is no line. Oh, Zoltaire. Oh, he saw me. Oh. Christmas stuff. Ooh, that's a good sign. Right, there's probably a line for this sort of stuff. Like old, like what do they call these? Silly symphonies? I like this. Yeah, it's cool, right? Yeah. It's for the Steamboat Willie. Oh. That's I cool. I don't even remember them releasing this in the park. Yeah, I feel like I've never seen this bag before. There's so much of it. Look over here. Oh, there's way more of it too? Okay. Yeah, they have Christmas stuff. Like this is like a cookie making, holiday baking set. This is what they sent out for halfway to the holidays. It's only $15 and it started out as $40. Wow. How much is Chip and Dale's? Started out as $55. What you, is it just a cookie jar? It's a cookie jar, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, it's cute. Yeah, it's like Chippendale. It looks like a dog house though, doesn't I it? I guess say, it's a gingerbread house. It should be Pluto's gingerbread dog house. Yeah. That would make more sense to me. But there's no sign saying how much it is. Oh. oh yeah, they have an Alice in Wonderland Dooney, $178.99 for the big one. Oh look, it's like the horse collection. Oh yeah, the horse collection. Wow. That's interesting. Are you a Disney horse girl? Yeah. Boy, have I got the purse for you. Is a Pegasus considered a horse? Yeah, it's a horse with wings. Okay. This is Ichabod Crane's horse. What was that horse's name? Oh, they have a lot of Christmas stuff and even some Halloween stuff. Look at this. You can get an Oogie Boogie Jackson, spirit jersey. Oh, yeah. 2021. Don't we have this shirt for him? Do we? I think so. Oh. <laughs> but still, like, look at this. How much is this spirit jersey? The Oogie Boogie spirit jersey. Oh, I always love this one, too. Oh, yeah. That was fun. Oh, my gourd. $45. $5. 
This was the biggest craze in the parks during Halloween. 10 bucks for some Halloween ears. Oh, and there's some Christmas ears in here too. Look at that. A Halloween bag? I think we actually had this bag. We gave it to somebody. I think, yeah. Yeah, it was one that they would like give you for a discount when you bought so many things. Gibbets! For our crocs. Yeah. These are... Doesn't say. Oh no. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm gonna, I, I don't know. Sometimes you can't find the prices of things. Mm. Holiday Haunted Mansion or Holland Haunted Mansion ornament set. These are the characters from the stretching room. Oh, that's fun. It's right, some bucks. of them. You got this. This guy. These two are from the stretching room. Twenty-one bucks. That's good. I like that they just kind of like rearrange the price. It was originally twenty-one ninety-nine. Now it's twelve ninety-nine. I love it. Oh, yeah. and it has the little. All although the little I feel tassels. like these I don't like on the towels because they just come off. Right. <laughs> but they look cute. Ooh, slippers. I like this. They're both, it's Mickey and Minnie and like these super plush slippers for $10. You can get some nice Christmas slippers. Oh, Looks like the majority of them are mediums though. Oh man. So oh, countdown to Christmas. This is $28. Listen here. What? Like now that 4th of July is done, it's already holidays. It's already <laughs> Halloween season. So like we're basically ready. in Christmas now. So like <laughs> this is a good time to come out here and buy this stuff. I mean, it's almost Christmas. So it's basically Valentine's Day. Right? <laughs> It's basically next New Year's. Oh, the holiday headband was even cheaper. It's only five dollars. Oh, really? Five dollars. Oh, I remember when they had these. Uh... They have mom jeans that are like not Christmas time right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like with just Mickey on them. So wait, how much are these? I'm guessing, oh, 20, 20 bucks. Because I think they were like 50 bucks. Yeah, and you can get the whole, this is, what size is this? These are like extra largest? I think they're a 1X. Okay. So I think right now, yeah, they only have 1X right now. Okay, but you could also get the shirt. I kind of matches like this. this reminds me for 20 bucks as well my grandma used to get shirts like this back in the 90s right it's very like 90s disney shirt i do like this holiday lodge shirt though for 20 dollars. flip it around so we can see what the back looks like oh yeah season's greetings from walt's holiday lodge is it like embroidered yeah this is when they had that wow. candle collection yeah remember? so this one is 20 bucks, 20 bucks. what is this one Not that this one. What is this? Is oh, this sleigh what? Sleigh what? <laughs> I like that. Twenty six dollars. Oh, an advent calendar. Oh, okay. Oh, it's big. It's a puzzle advent calendar. Oh, you get little puzzle pieces. What's the final puzzle? Is it? Oh, each one is a puzzle. Oh, that's fun. Twenty five mini puzzles. It was originally forty, and now it's like eight dollars. Man, now's the time to come get your Christmas stuff. Oh, oh that's really nice for forty five dollars. Yeah. I like it. It's very soft. Oh, and you can get the matching Mickey one yeah. too. Same price. I like this color better. Yeah. Speaking of Valentine's Day. Is it? Oh yeah. Yeah. I like how their heart is broken. Because I think. Oh, I yours do you do? Do they come apart? I don't think they do. They're sewn together. Oh. <laughs> Why is it broken? I don't know. Huh. How much was it though? Um, fifteen. Fifteen bucks. Oh look. The miniature light up. Mickey Mouse and Friends Christmas tree for $26. This is nice. It's like it's ceramic too. They really are celebrating like every holiday though. What yeah. does this one do? It lights up. Oh, okay. Look at that. That's cute. This one, we don't have a price. This one was originally $60. 26 Okay, so the same price. 26 huh. and 26 A Grogu Christmas plush. I think they still sell this in Hollywood Studios right now for $11. They're selling it here for $11, but probably at Hollywood Studios for $25. This is fun. For $5. A puma hat. Like it's a youth hat. It's a kid's hat. Let's see. Oh yeah. Fits you. Oh no. Just one little string hanging off there. Oh, do I have a kid size head? You got a tiny head. <laughs> they have some outfits for new emos. Oh. And they have a David S. Pumpkins, but Mickey. What does he say? He says, I don't know. <laughs> what does he say? What? <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. Excuse me? Y'all gotta watch it. Oh, these are those gigantic pins. You remember we found these? These are Funko pins. Right now they're selling for $18 and these are the Hitchhiking Ghosts. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, where's Gus? There he is over there. But these are not figures. These are gigantic pins, enamel pins. I don't understand this. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah. The Space Mountain. This is the youth shirt section. We got a Space Mountain shirt for $8. This is uh, Eternal. Yeah, how much is it? 13, 13 bucks. bucks. Walt Disney World one here. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen bucks. Oh, wow, look at that. What is it? It's, it's a light up figurine. It's like a snow globe. Okay. Long sleeve Big Thunder Mountain shirt for ten dollars and fifty cents. Just says wild. What is this? 
Oh, it's a Hades headband. It lights up though. Oh, that's fun. Or it said it, I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, you look cool. There's a little Ewok drum. Should we get Jackson a drum? Yeah, why not? Oh yeah, looking good. Any questions? That's what he says. Oh. <laughs> Any questions? How much is it? I thought he said, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Say what? How much uh, is it? $21. Oh, okay. Peter Pan role play set for $7. What is it? Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's cool. You get like a little mustache. You get a couple of hats, a little sword, a hook. Um, I don't know what that is. What do you think that is? I don't know, a, a mirror? I think it can replace the hook and then it's like a- A shovel? A little sword. Oh, I thought it was like a, like he's and gonna do I... some drywall. It's like a spackling. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's what hook does. That's what he does in his spare time. Should we get this? Yeah, sure. What is it, a, a pan, pan flute. flute. Does okay. it work? I mean, I'm guessing for $7, I'm guessing no. Oh wait, this is, this hook is made of wood. Is it? Yeah, a oh, Captain Hook wooden knife. Is this a wooden? Sounds dangerous. Peter Pan flute. Eh, that's funny. Like Peter Pan wooden knife. Yeah. Little finger puppets. Those are cute. Oh, should we do it? How much How is much it? How much is it? Four dollars. Four dollars. All right. Okay. There is a gown here, like a child's gown. I think it's Rapunzel, because this sun up here looks like Rapunzel's. On sale from $350 down to $225. Oh, the Lionel train set. These were very expensive because it's Lionel brand. When I see them in the park, the 50th one of these was like $350. So I'm wondering how much they are here. We gotta find a sign. They have the Mary Blair Alice in Wonderland pillows. These were still for sale in the park. They were for sale in Disney style. This is nice. But I feel like it's it's missing the other part of it. Like I feel like there's more to this collection than just this one pillow. Yeah, it was like a tea set. Yeah, it was yeah, a whole thing. It was like a home goods set. They have some of this, this summer collection here. It's like this summery tie-dye collection. $25. $5, originally $40 for this little oh, sweatshirt. But we saw this at the airport store. Yeah, they have it in all the stores still. It makes me wonder if it's still regular price at the airport. Yeah, it it's still regular be. price in the parks. That's so weird. Yeah. Yeah, so definitely come here. It's just limited sizing here. Oh, okay, okay. Like this is an extra, extra small. Okay. And of course they are still selling the vault collection in the parks and this is on sale for $25 here wow. from this preview center merch. I have to say though, this shirt is very Look, they forgot to color the, the top of his head. Oh yeah. Is it very stiff? I yeah, bet you if not. you wash it. But you know how some of the Disney shirts are just comfortable right off the bat? Yeah. Head? Yeah, I don't, I don't know that I've ever seen this one either. It it's for $8. $8. Yeah, that's cute. It's Ariel. They have the other the other characters on cable knit sweaters too. So you got like Donald for 45 They got a Stormtrooper, which is funny to me. This one's Black Panther. This one is, oh, one of the green aliens from Toy Story. Ooh, they have some of the Lux collection. Wow. For $91, you can get this like quilted jacket here. It's not super filled though. No, which is fine for Florida. Oh yeah, and then this and I think this is also part of the Lux collection. Yeah, but feel it, it feels weird. Oh yeah, I thought it would be more cushy than this. It almost feels like canvas. Yeah. And this one's 51. Here's a headband with R2 on it oh, yeah. that lights up. That's so loud. I wouldn't want that by my ears. Oh yeah, it sounds amazing. Every time you take a step. <laughs> they also have uh, BB-8 too. I'll be cruising 2021. What? It's a pantsuit? Oh, because of Bo Peep? It's very strange. Oh, it's such random. Is it all Pixar? I think so. Yeah, it's all Pixar. Oh, it's huh. the dress shop. It's kind of fun. For $56. Wow. Yeah, if you ever wanted flick on a shirt. It's very, um, like, it's polyester. Yeah. Oh, I like the, the zipper, though. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, the little, like, Luxo ball? Yeah. Sometimes they just have random shirts in here. Like, this one's Ocean Drive for $15. It's just, like, not a Disney shirt. It's just a shirt. That's interesting. But they also have some Castaway Key stuff. Like, what is this? Is this a Castaway Key, like, sarong? Is that what you call those? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Wow. How much is it? 20 bucks. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, a scrapbook kit for your cruise. Oh yeah, from 2021. Oh yeah. The Tommy Bahama Minnie Mouse shirt for $35. Wow. This is like, this is a jacket, but it looks like a robe. This is it, but it's got like peanuts and Timothy Mouse on it, like it's Dumbo themed. No. I really don't Oh yeah, is this the Disneyland one? Oh, the Disney World one. Okay, I could still get it though, right? What did you? I think I paid a hundred bucks for it. You paid one thirty. Paid one thirty for it. And it's fifty-six. 56. No. It's okay though. 
Wow. Like I, I got to wear it at Disneyland. You did. Did you see this weird one? This is this is like a Dumbo a for twenty twenty nine dollars thirty about thirty dollars. This is it looks like a robe, but it's not. Oh, what is it? It's just like a jacket. Oh, okay. Huh. Are you sure it's not a robe? Mm, no. Okay. Oh, here the train set Lionel train set, fifty bucks. How much was it originally? Let's see. So originally this train set was one fifty, and it is a hundred dollars off. And they got a lot of them too. They also have like discounts on pins and stuff here. But you gotta be careful because some of the pins are full price, but some of them are cheaper. Like this Black Spire Outpost one is four dollars rather than ten dollars. Well, they have some of the adaptive headbands that are available too. Like so, they're not a stiff thing, so anybody with any ability can wear Mickey ears or mini ears. And then they have these guys too, like light up balloon Christmas ears. These were originally 32, and I'm not seeing a price on them right now. Oh, for eight dollars. Oh, and they just came out with the new set uh, yesterday. Oh, really? It's like rainbow kind of iridescent colored. Ooh. It's not. It's not holiday, but it's the same uh, balloons. Gotcha. These seem like they would hurt. These like spikies. They're really heavy. They're very heavy. But they look really cool. Well, like a little animal mini backpack. Is it a backpack or is it a purse? Oh, it's like a. Oh, it's a lounge fly. I think it fits like on your belt. Oh, that's cool. For $21. Did you get it? No, I don't need that. But if you uh, want the, mu the Muppets to stay in the park, you have to buy this. Okay. That makes no sense because this is the outlet. <laughs> <laughs> they have shoulder monkey lizards for sale. Only a few of them. And it is for $13. How much was this originally? This originally was $70. And they're selling it here for $13. A little shoulder monkey lizard. It's the same idea as the shoulder banshees. We have a little controller that you can control his motions with. Oh, if you're excited for Avatar 2, The Way of Water, you can come here and get yourself an Avatar banshee purse from Pandora, the world of Avatar, for $30. What'd you get? I don't really know. It's from Stony Clover. What is Stony Clover? It's like a brand that's very popular. But it's so cute. I don't know what it is. Like a makeup case, maybe? Can you open it or no? It's just it's just a, a kit. Yeah, it's like a... Like an overnight bag type thing? I feel like it could be for your toiletries, maybe? It could be for whatever you want. But this is so cute. Yeah. You I could put Valentine's in there if you wanted to. I think this is something that I... Valentine what? Cards? Anything, yeah. You're like storage of Valentine's get candy. How much, how much Valentine's candy do you get? Enough to fill that bag. Easy. <laughs> well, we better get yeah. it. <laughs> But this is like something I would display. I wouldn't use it, I would display it. Look how cute it is. I don't really like it. I love it. Oh, okay. This is a collector's item now. The Disney Dream is not sailing out of Port Canaveral anymore. It moved down to Miami, right? I think the Disney Dream was doing seven day trips right now too. Leave me a comment if I'm incorrect, but I think the Disney Dream moved down to Miami. So it doesn't have Port Canaveral as its home port anymore. And there are only two more of these shirts. Oh, this is a shirt for me. <laughs> All right, Jen, I think I found the most Disney item here. What? It's $4. What? It's just a red Disney shirt? It's just a plain red shirt with Disney tags on it. Why? I don't know, but I it love it. Be, it must be for something. Like they forgot to print on it and they like shipped them to them and they're like, what are we doing with these? There's nothing on this. <laughs> for $4? For $4, yeah, it's just a plain red shirt. Okay, I mean, I guess it's a good deal. It's, it's so bizarre. <laughs> Because it has Disney tags on it. Like yeah, it says look. Disney there in the inside. Huh. Oh, this one's actually like a, it's like, like a rash guard. Oh, okay. And it's just plain blue. I like this one. Oh, Monterey Jack. He owns a grocery store now. Oh yeah, he's addicted to cheese. Yeah. Oh, Gotta be careful. Not a good idea. Oh, there it is. They have the whole Alice in Wonderland set over oh, here. The that. Mary Blair stuff. Salt and pepper, Salt and pepper shakers. This is like a, a table runner, blanket down there, like a mixing bowl set, bowl set of plates. Kind of a lot of neat stuff. A candle? What does a candle smell like? You think it's flowery? It smells like Mary Blair. What is this? It smells like jasmine. It's a creamer and sugar set. Oh, well, that's fun. But look, look at her. Yeah, that's Mary Blair for you. Oh no. See, look. They all have like stuff on them. Is that just on the tape or is it on the no, actual thing? No, it's on the tape and on it. Do you guys remember when we went to the... May Poison Food. The Disney store at the um, airport and we were like, what is this? Is this a butter holder? And you guys were like, no, it's a napkin holder. I feel like that won't hold napkins at all. That's just what somebody said it was, but I thought it was a butter dish. <laughs> that could poison you. Yeah, it's true. Uh, it's a Christmas Wookiee in the shape of a cookie. 
I like it. And it is ten dollars. Probably the same as the Vader one. For as busy as it is, the line has been relatively short. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, this is great. Great trip. I can't wait to show these to Jackson. So I think we're gonna spend a total of like maybe ten, ten, eleven dollars. I know. This is a, this is such a good deal. Look, they've got Leia's wig with her buns and everything. The Character Warehouse has new operating hours that went into effect on May 30th. So Monday through Saturday from 10 until 9, and then Sunday from 11 until 7. What do you think Donald was doing originally? Because these are these are from somewhere else. He's delivering all of the new merch to yeah, the Yeah, but what's floor. he doing with his hand? He has a magic band on. He was obviously at That's Disney an World. old magic band, too. And then oh, yeah. Of course, Goofy's doing all the hard labor. Right? Goofy always is. Yeah. Mickey being the perfect uncle with his little nephews. I thought there were three of them. I thought there were two. Maybe there's one hiding somewhere. Mm. He's the one that's doing actually all the work. <laughs> okay, so we finished with our shopping at the outlet, and then Tim said, let's go grab some lunch around here somewhere, and we saw that there's a Portillo's nearby. So we're gonna head to Portillo's. We've only been there a couple of times, but it was the one in Tampa. We've never been to this one before. So I'm very excited to, uh, to have Portillo's. <laughs> it was really good the last few times that we had it. Yeah, and there's also a White Castle over here. We're, doing, we're not gonna go to White Castle this time, but we might go another time. Portillo's it is. Yeah, I do want to try White Castle, but I don't know, I was just craving, I think it's because I edited the video where you had the hot dog. Oh. <laughs> so, we're going to Portillo's. Going into Portillo's and there's a sign outside that they have a plant-based garden dog in classic Chicago style. Well, and they do have outdoor seating. I like this Portillo's, it's very rock and roll in here. Like a giant neon guitar on the ceiling. It doesn't sound rocket. Yeah, it does. The one in Tampa is more like roadhousey, I feel like. So I ordered two. Oh, there's all the hot dogs over there. Oh yeah. I ordered two hot dog meal, like the two hot dog meal, and I got everything except for the sport peppers on it. I kind of wish I had gotten the Maxwell Street Polish, but I got that last time, so you I wanted to try something different. You didn't like it last time. I didn't time. like it last time. Yeah, it was like overdone or something. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I, I think I'll be the, happy uh, with this. I got the Italian. The oh Italian yeah. Beef. You love the Italian beef. <laughs> and you got it to, you didn't get it dipped or it. with extra gravy, you got it on the side so you can control it. Good call. Yeah, look at that. I know you can't even see the hot dog part of it, but <laughs> it's in there, I promise. There's your Italian beef. I got onions, sweet peppers, and the jardinera sauce, and then I got my gravy on the side. And you got onion rings too. Yeah. All right, so we just came back from the outlet and we found something so cool for you. Are you ready? Yeah. You are? Whoa, is that a hat? Oh, is it all stuck? Oh no. Do you want to be Captain Hook? Or do you want to be Peter Pan? <laughs> you want this one? Oh, I think it does work. Do the, do the other side. No, no, no. Just like side to side. Now go to the side. And now you're a Captain Hook. You gotta wear his hat. Show Daddy. <laughs> yeah, on your pinky. That's a good one. Ooh, maybe Mickey. Oh, whoa. Maybe Mickey's on vacation. Look. He's, He's wearing a little Hawaiian shirt. shirt. Oh, oh, maybe somebody's a knight. Who do you think's a knight? Maybe Goofy? Goofy. Always Goofy. Let's see, you want to put it on Goofy? Oh, Donald? Whoa, is Donald a knight? <gasps> Whoa. Good job, buddy. Who are you putting the sunglasses on? Minnie. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, she's cool. You can change everybody's clothes. There's Daisy and Pluto. So what do you think of these, Jackson? Okay. You like them? I think they're pretty cool. Man, that was a good trip to the outlets. Like, it's been a while since we've been, and like, there was so much stuff there. Well, and it is the next day. We were just playing dress up and having fun. Jackson really loved his um, little haul that we got him from the outlets. Yeah. And I can't believe that we got the finger puppets and we got the little dress up set, $11. $11. That felt like a really good, like, trip to the outlets. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. And then we went to Portillo's afterwards, but we didn't mention like how we liked it. So how did you like it? It was so, so good. I will say it's super delicious, 
but it does like it is rough on your tummy <laughs> Yeah. But it's so good. That Italian beef, and if you like a little bit of spice, the gravy has a little bit of kick to it, like a little black pepper kick. Oh, okay. And then the jardinera is like super, it has like jalapenos. It's just, it was so delicious. Yeah. Mine was really good too. It was very salty though, so I was thirsty for the yeah. rest of the day. <laughs> but it was worth it. It was so good. Yeah, it was very good. And the one so. thing I didn't get on mine was sport peppers. So mine oh, didn't yeah. have any spice to it at all. Mm. So next time, maybe I'll add a little bit of spice. I want to try, they have a buffalo chicken sandwich now that's Ooh. new, so I want to try that next time. That sounds but really good. I hope you guys had so much fun hanging out with us. We love going to the outlets. I just like seeing what's new, and I also like seeing what's still in the park for regular price. Right. I think that's kind of weird that they're doing that right now. Yeah. So it's definitely interesting every time we go. But I hope you had fun coming to the outlets. I can't wait to go back. Yeah. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.